Welcome back to Unsorted Horror by Mike Klubnicker. If you haven't seen it, then just go and follow that link up there and you'll find the first part of this. Worth watching. But you don't need to watch that first to enjoy this. Our fourth game of five is Concrete Tremor, a short experimental puzzle horror game about plastic explosives and Soviet apartments, where the story is told from multiple perspectives. Ten minutes, one and only ending. Another original soundtrack by Jabu. Let's get it in there. I like the way that the it, that implies that the CD has been playing the audio just by being in its case. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh well, I'm sure you'll survive. It fits the aesthetic of the game. If you can only see shadow around me. Just my big pale face and then <laughs> darkness surrounding. You can't differentiate my hair from the from the background. Maybe I should get another light and place it over here somewhere just so we get a bit of <coughs> side light and you can see me. Yeah. Should think about my lighting. Concrete tremor. Let's do it. Oh. I am starving. Where are you going? Okay, I am starving. Oh, I hate this. I have one button and I think it's start program. Program started. Oh. Oh, that's my that's my dinner or breakfast. Oh. <laughs> I should check the roof. There is a roof entrance, that's for sure. Uh, enjoy your uh, your food, gentlemen. This is the the weirdest aesthetic so far. Go straight up. Oh, it's so dark. This layout is so similar to uh, not wrong floor. The one that was made by this Into the Darkness. That one made by the guy who did Wrong Floor. And the, the, the apartment, like, this is almost identical. The apartment block. Well, let's keep going to the roof, anyhow. This might be a long climb. He says, I'm here. Whoa! I mean, dystopian or what? Goodness, I think I'm one of those players. Not if I can help it. Oh, this is like a war game or something. Is this? Look, it looks like a scale model. A phone call? Oh, yeah, isn't she playing battleships here? Oh, my God, we are. Your turn. Building's 25. Yeah. There is one five block building, one four block, two three blocks, four two blocks, and two one blocks. Okay, and this is how we dial in our locations to where we want to go for. Can I look up? 
I think I am actually on the roof, aren't I? Okay. 1 to 10, A to J, confirm. Nothing else works, so I think we just... Are these where I've already tried? Hitting? Must be. They must be the empty squares, so... We're trying to find all his ones in here. So the five can only really be in a couple of places. Let's try and eliminate it. So if we go there, that's a pretty good start, right? That's two. And where's A to J? I assume that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 2, H. H2. Lock it in. One. Okay, then I want to do uh, C3. I'm really nervous that A is going to be starting there. But we'll, we'll go C3. I, like, I get a certain number of shots, don't I? Something like that. I hit rifle through those rules really fast. Uh, C7 looks to be a good one. I'm basically trying to get all the junctions where we get a good chance of hitting something. Um, let's go there too which is A, B, C, D, E, F, 6. And I think, finally, um, we'll go for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Um, let's go I, 6. Thank God I got it right. All right, so that was miss, 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 hit. Enemy turn, buildings 21. Bloody hell, they were accurate. <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming X's were misses. No, X's must have been hits. Yeah, 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 of course, because these will be misses here, won't they? Right, so the thing is... Were those parts of five long buildings, or two long buildings, or, or what? But they're on 20. So, I think we, we carry on narrowing shit down. So let's go with um, I8, which is there. Then we'll go with uh, F8. We'll go with Alt F4. Lol, lol, lol. We're going to go with uh, C5. I'm sitting down now, by the way. Just realised. I needed to tell you. I need to get off me gans. Uh, where else is a good crossing point? That's nice. Um, F8. I think we already did that, didn't we? Uh, I guess we could just go next to the ones we've already got. C6. I've just done C5. Let's not do C6. Let's do that one there. Could be interesting. Uh, e3. Um, I'm going to go with A... Sorry, C1. As well. Miss. Hit. 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 Superb. Hear those booms in the distance. Earl Grey, hot. Hmm, good strength too. Did you miss? Pretty sure they missed. Complete miss. Right, they said a free phone call, didn't they? One of the opponent's tenants. Oh my god! So the whole point of that was for me to be able to find out which building. This is horrible! So C9 is a building.
Do I go for it? I do. I thought we were going to be a protagonist in this, not a horrible, horrible prick. All right, well, there's a hit. Um, let's try and get some more. I'm going to go with A, 5, and 7. He says, pressing the number 4. It looked like an A. Shut up. A, 5. A, 7. Um, I also don't mind the idea of H, 7. And we'll go for H9 as well. We got a hit. Oh, we got three hits there, I think. Possibly four. Enemy turn, building's 13. How did I... Oh, no, no, player turn. I had 20 left. Okay, I've got you. So he's got 13 left, I've got 20 left. Oh my god, I've got 15 left. <laughs> he took out an entire block. Yeah, okay, now I understand this. Whew, right. So, if we start to look at these, we've got two twos, we've got lots, of, sorry, we've got two ones, we've got lots of twos, a couple of threes, and only a single four and five. I'm going to go with... I'm going to have to start placing things between the X's now, aren't I? So, let's go with H8. And if that's not right, we'll go for those two. H8, we're going to go for F7. Lock it in. We're going to go for um, C8. At C6. And C4. We've definitely got a couple of hits there, at least. Kaboom. Eleven left for him. Bloody hell, how are they so good at this? That's another four lost? Maybe three. Ten. Ten to go. Christ. No, that was five. Okay. <laughs> that has to be a three. It might not be a three. It might be a two, a one, and a two, or something like that. But I think it's safer if we don't go for that. Right? So, wait. Mm. Those two were hits. That was a miss. So I'm going to go I7 and I9. Cool. That's that one sorted. I'm now going to go for H3, just to try and work around that X up there, and then I2, just in case. Am I wasting too many goes here? Let's go B3. That's not a B. That's an 8. Okay, we've got some hits in. Three hits, I think. Takes them down to 8, I want to say. Yeah. And I'm on 10. Come on, miss all of them again. I want another phone call. Don't tell me that's another 5. Bloody is. Okay. Right, so. Um, definitely 2-2's two gone. We need to confirm this, don't we? So we're going to go H4. We're going to go... This one. B5. We're going to go there. C3. What? C3. Oh, C2. Sorry. Thank you for not blowing me up, game. That was very forgiving of you. Uh, um, also going to go for E2. And where's our last one going to be? I guess we could just go A1. See so if we can't get that sorted out up there. Oh, A... A... No, sorry. 
uh, H1. <laughs> okay, we got a hit. Two hits. A distant boom. Come on, that's all of them. Game over, zero buildings. That one's still wobbling around. Oh my god. What a weird game that was. There was only one ending. I could only have lost. Well done. That was that was strange. Definitely one of the weirder ones that. But I liked it. There's got to be a way to win. Maybe there's not. Maybe it's just a comment on how futile it all is. Tartarus Engine. This sounds interesting. Final game. A short horror game about a monumental computer designed for imitating eternal torment. You play as a technician and a group of people that set out to tap into a vulnerability in the machine. Alright, okay. Oh, let's do it. Mike, if you're watching this, thank you so much for releasing all this for free. You could have charged money for this. But you do it for the love of it, don't you? You can tell you have so many cool ideas and you really enjoy what you do. I reckon. What is this going to be? The Eternal Torment Machine. It reminds me of the um, um, Infinite Perspective Drive or whatever it's called from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where you get put in a box and you, you are subjected to infinity and you can see... It yourself in relation to that infinity, and it drives you mad. Unless you're say Fog Breeblebrox, in which case it doesn't, and you just go, yeah, it's about right. Such a funny set of books, I need to reread them. Tartarus Engine, let's go. This tea is delicious. As far beneath Hades as heaven is above Earth, construction began on the foundation of a great computer. Decades later, the first reality of eternal torment was imitated by the machine. The year is 2009, and the Tartarus engine was created. As far beneath Hades as heaven is above Earth. That's an amazing line. Wow. Time passed. To prevent workers from exploiting the machine for their personal gain, multiple protective measures were set in place. Four technicians devise a plan and execute it into the night. There is no such thing as absolute security. Right, are we four technicians planning to exploit it for personal gain? Or do we have like a moral conscience thing of we need to shut it down? Oh, I know about this. Good old Steve. He's a smiley chap. Is that what you want me to do? You shouldn't be smoking in a lift. Oh, yes. 
Oh, I see. Uh oh. That was too big a gap. That's the the doubtless face of scrutiny that. He seems to accept it. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Is he gonna go and warn his superiors? He didn't say anything. Oh well, it's fine. Only three forty seven. Lower floor, partition 11, something? Crap. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Once again. And I'm on my own as well. The Eternal Torment Machine. Why does it exist? And that's what I like about some of these games. The fact that you have a, a world that has sort of backstory and lore. Right, we don't have much time. 2348, let's go. Oh, I'm not going down there. Partition 11. Ah. Oh. Um. I must be here. Yes, that's the inmate distribution passage, that long dark corridor. No, where's the lift? I, I am. Yeah, I'm down there. <laughs> no, I'm here. Okay, cool. Floor splitter. Cool. So that. Partition input maintenance access. All right, we've got to go this way. Oh god, how do we go? Latch. Oh no. Um Right, am I going to have to fix this thing? Okay. I think... Shit. I think we need to do something in here, don't we? That's the partition input maintenance access. This is partition output main splitter. So, do we have to set something up here? Inmate, inmate distribution patches, I don't love that. No, maybe we don't have to do anything up here. Can't go that way, that's fantastic, I'm really happy about that. Time is still moving, so whatever I need to do is in here. I didn't check this door. No, of course, that's fine. Right, it's, it's, it's got to be just on here. What a waste of time. Okay, latch. Drag this up. Turn that. Aha! <clears throat> Destination 11. Yes, latch is locked. Cool. <laughs> 2350. It is so dark. But we are moving. The music. Wow. We need eleven. Is this the machine then? Four, three, four, yep. Yeah. We're getting there. You have to make it back by midnight. Oh, we're so going to have to fix things, aren't we? Don't break. Please keep working.
There's a hole in the floor. Didn't seem to matter. Oh no, it's a shadow. Lol. Right, 11. Here we are. Uh, turn it off. Latch. There it is. Take the thing. Turn the engine off. The latch is there. Oh! Oh my god, okay. Partition override panel. Well, it's not just going to go in, is it, Steve? We need to take this one out. Maverick 11 Tartarus. Shit, what do I do? Uh... Oh, it's got bolts on it. Just seen them. No. That's not what we do. How do I get that one out? Crowbar. Crowbar it out. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Right, drop that. So, now we need this probably to override something. There we go, skull. That's what we want. We're doing some hacking. <laughs> One, two, three, does nothing. But while that goes, um... Oh, it's, is it replacing all the reds slowly? It is. There we go. We're in. Right. One, two, three. One. Right. Good. Gone. Throw, throw it off the side. No one needs it. Okay. Relock it. I'm done here. Time to head back. Do I have to put everything back on, though? No, I can't see the panel. Uh, latch. There we go. 2354. Turn the engine on. Go. I have wasted so much time here. Did, did I do it? Well, I'm in the lift. Let's see if I did it. Being absolutely unprepared for any of that was terrifying. Oh, midnight. I'm not back. Or am I? Oh my god. Am I about to be subject to eternal torment? So that would have been it going off, I guess. The thing we planted. Hello, guys. We are about to calibrate the device in a moment. There isn't much time left. Strap yourself in. Okay. And I get. I've almost got everything set up. Which preset are you running? What are we doing? One more, you pit potatoes. Don't worry. It's just for a moment. I'll tell you out as soon as I get on it already. When will you peel potatoes? See you in a bit. And it's like, what, 48 years? Or is it... I can't remember how long it was. It was much, much longer than... actual time, right? Here we are. I don't understand. They managed to translate the nature of consciousness into mathematics and recreate it in a digital interface, yet they use it for... <laughs> We've got to peel a hundred thousand potatoes, I think. Ow. 
and we're back. All right. is the bit clear? Yep. Yes, the bit is clear. Good. I am setting up the cascade preset now. Warping in 30 seconds. I still don't know what we're doing here. There you go. This will be stored in thousands of empty void branches until we reach the final layer. There, we will have all the time in the world to craft our perfect resets. So we want to live in this make-believe world. I did not ride it. I found it. Shit. Did it work? Shit. They said, try to reach for the keyboard. Why? I can't move. I forgot to disable the automatic. Oh no. It's pulling us out. It's pulling us out layer by layer. What the hell did you do? Pulling us out layer by layer. How many layers deep are we? Shit. We're just stuck in this for eternity now. Tartarus Engine. An Unsorted Horror exclusive. Wow, what an interesting concept that was. I can't say I completely get the full ins and outs of what they were talking about with layers and all that sort of thing, but my understanding it was, yeah, it's essentially a huge prison where people, for whatever reason, are put for eternity, subjected to eternal torment because time dilates and slows down. And we were trying to hack into it in order to live, presumably, a good life uh, in that. But they were talking about lots of layers deep and things like that. Maybe it was because then we could connect like a neural network or something across lots of the layers of this machine. But then he forgot something and I think we were just trapped warping between each layer or something, so all we will know for the rest of our lives is or something. Well, unsorted horror, there you have it. An hour and a half's wonderful experience. Wonderful in, you know, strange blue and green inverted brackets, inverted commas. Uh, but there we have it. The other side, control room alpha, carbon steel, concrete tremor, Tartarus engine. I think con carbon steel was probably my favourite. I think that was that was the best game. Uh, that had everything. That had the interesting deep lore that was hinted at. I say deep lore, lore that was hinted at. And wonderful things that you had to do. Like the busy work. Um, and cross-referencing and stuff, that was good. My least favourite was probably Control Room Alpha. Um, felt like it was cut short and it was very much not in keeping with these others. You know, Big Spider's scary is definitely less of a sort of subtle thing than the others were, but uh, it's not to be taken away from it because it, it was still a decent short experience. Tartarus Engine, some thoughts going into that, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what this guy does next. Back to Buckshot Roulette, I suppose. Love and peace all. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next episode, whatever we play. Have rusty, pixelated dreams. Good night. That's that button. Smash.